Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. As it stands now, a lot of issues are happening. Just of recent, we've been talking about PDP crisis. There have been a lot of crises happening in the PDP as regards to the 2023 presidential election coming up 2023 February. Now, it has just been reported that a big loss for Atiku and even PDP as a whole, as a prominent chieftain dumps the party in northern states. And don't forget that it is believed that this northern state has most population and the vote coming from the northern part is not small. We cannot just overlook it. Now to have a prominent chieftain dumping the party in the northern states, do you think it is a big loss, just like what has been said earlier, for Atiku and PDP. Well, we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. And if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, don't just watch and leave the subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new update. And also, a big shout out to our existing subscribers. I want to say a big thank you to you for liking, sharing and commenting. I want to employ you to continue to do so and as you do, remain blessed. Now to the full gist of the news. As we all know, ahead of the 2023 general elections, stakeholders, chieftains and even members of political parties would continue cross capeting in a bid to actualize their key interest. The Gombe State Chapter has suffered a big blow following the defection of a top world leader, Umar Muazu. In the build-up of the forthcoming general elections, Muazu dumped the PDP for the APC, citing Gombe residents' interest as the reason guiding its decision. A former People's Democratic Party PDP world leader in Gombe State in Bajoga Ward, Gombe local government area, Umar Muazu has defected to the All Progressive Congress APC. He has just defected to run the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress APC. What do you think has instigated him to do this, despite the fact that the 2023 election is already knocking at the door? According to a letter sent to the Punch on Sunday, September 11, and addressed to its party chairman, Moazu lauded the party for the good working relationship over the years. The ruling party, the APC, headed by Governor Mohammed Inouye Yahaya in Gombe State, has received a new number into its fold. The chieftain gave reasons for his exit from PDP. Guess what he said? The PDP chieftain revealed that his 17-year membership had yielded the party positive gains, adding that his defection became imperative following the desire of the people. He described his defection as one caused by the developmental strides of the incumbent administration stressing that Governor Mohamedou Yahaya of the state had become a game changer. The letter partly reads, This development is the outcome of my series of consultations with key stakeholders across the divide. The primary goal of politics is for one to protect the interest of his people. Furthermore, when the majority of the people chose to identify with a more just cause and support the game changer, I am compelled to join them and move on. Moazo sought partnership in his new party, especially in ensuring a higher second term emergence. He concluded as saying, This says, as formal notification to my resignation and decision to join the APC. 
What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? A lot is happening. Different things happening as regards to the 2023 election and we just hope that the right person will surely emerge as the winner because a big loss now has hit PDP and we don't know what probably will happen next. PDP is in deep pain because this loss is actually eating hard as a prominent chieftain dumps the party in northern states. He did not just join, you know, dump the party, pardon. This man has been a PDP member for over 17 years and he just dumped the party all because of who knows. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? He is, you know, citing Gumbi residents' interest as the reason guiding his decision. You are claiming, you know, you have the interest of the Gumbi residents in your heart. And yet, you defect from your own party to another party. What is your take to this? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. A lot of people believe that with this that has happened, there is high probability that PDP might not be able to defeat the APC come 2023. But well, who are we to judge? We can only decide who the winner will be, even if the crisis continue yet. If we actually want it to happen, of course it will happen by getting our PVC now and do donate for come 2023 and we will see that our votes will surely count. Who would like you to let us know your own take to this before we go? Let's people's reactions on this. Ocon reacted to this and said, everyone is entitled to his or our own opinion but fairness and justice cannot be hidden that is a reaction from okong saying that everyone is entitled to his or her opinion but fairness and justice cannot be hidden guest he also reacted and said i don't know what is happening to we southerners that we always divide the north are grouping to yield ground to the south but some parts of the South are saying that they prefer to be vice president and some are saying let the North retain power instead. At the end, we will come to say that the North is marginalizing us. That is another reaction from guests saying that instead of you to do the needful, you are there clamoring for what probably might not even stand. Some people are fighting for the top and you are there fighting for the second position. Who does that when you know you deserve this later you start shouting crying of being marginalized that is what guests have said i guess you understand what guests have just said talking about the hebrew presidency how they have been marginalized how they claimed they have been marginalized and yet they are probably lacking behind when it comes to the fight for the number one position in nigeria we would like you to let us know your own take on this big loss for Atiku and PDP as prominent chieftain dumps the party in northern states. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.